Hi there, I'm Dr. Dylan Joseph from Vision for Life Clinic. You've recently seen me for a laser vision correction consultation and we've decided that the best form of vision correction for you will be a procedure called Streamlight, otherwise known as Transepithelial PRK or Photorefractive Keratectomy. So why Streamlight? Why do we use this approach as opposed to LASIK? Traditionally LASIK would be a go-to procedure in a very healthy cornea, a cornea that is thick enough to allow us to create a flap with a femtosecond laser in. But for certain reasons and risk factors and history, and that's why it's really important that when we sit we discuss your history, uh, we look at your eyes in detail clinically and on the scans to make a decision that's going to be best for your eye. But we decide then that for a number of reasons we can't create a flap on your cornea. We can't use a laser to take 25% of your corneal tissue out the picture, although we put it back into its place it changes the architectural structure of the cornea. So a streamlight procedure or a transepithelial PRK is actually a very, very elegant one-step no-touch technique that we use where we do not create a flap, but we put you directly under the eczema laser and this eczema laser is so fine-tuned to the thousandth of a millimeter, we can tell it to laser off 50 microns of tissue, or 55 or 60 microns of tissue, which is the epithelium. The epithelium is the outer layer or the skin of the eye, so to speak. So we measure that preoperatively and we program that into the machine. That's how intelligent it is and that's how accurate it is. Once that laser has removed that top 50 thousandths of a millimeter of your cornea, we can then do your treatment straight away. So we're not actually changing the architecture or the structure of your cornea. So in people who have a few warning signs on the cornea or whose cornea is a little bit on the thin side, we may suggest Streamlight or Transepithelial PRK for you. And a lot of LASIK, I think uh, the connotations of how am I gonna hold my eye open and the fear of that and uh, the fear of something touching my eye. Streamlight negates that. Transepithelial PRK negates that. We literally put anesthetic drops in your eye for you. We keep your eyelids open and you don't have to worry about that. And we literally let the laser do all the work from start to finish. The treatment's about 40 seconds. And, um, and before you know it, it's over. So there are two really important things to understand about Streamlight or Transepithelial PRK in terms of its recovery. So LASIK is a wow factor procedure. We know that in four to six days, you're going to be seeing what your contact lenses or your spectacles gave you, if not better. And the visual, the, the, the visual recovery um, in Streamlight is a lot longer. So although you will be seeing better, and we can still do Streamlight for short-sightedness, far-sightedness, astigmatism, a combination of the above, the average time taken for visual recovery is six weeks. Now everyone like clockwork phones me at two weeks in a panic and says why is my vision going blurry again or why is it taking a turn for the worse before it gets better. It's normal. I'm here to tell you and to reiterate that is completely normal so please do not panic. The earliest we look at visual data is at six weeks and if you look at the long-term data of streamlight stability versus LASIK stability the results at six months and at one year are identical. So that's point number one. Point number two, where LASIK has minimal discomfort, Streamlight, not during the procedure, but after the procedure for the next two or three days, can feel a little bit uncomfortable, like you've got sand or grit in your eye. We do, however, give you um, pre-operative and post-operative analgesia, uh, so pain medication. We use the Optitherm um, ice mask afterwards, which has got two malleable, uh, freezable discs which you put onto your eyes straight after surgery and then for at least two to three times a day for the next two to three days and the studies have shown that by reducing tissue temperature we reduce discomfort um, and uh, we also give you topical drops to instill in your eyes over the next uh, four to six weeks. So Streamlight, yes, number one, a little bit of a longer vision recovery and can be a little bit uncomfortable two to three days after the surgery, although we really do everything we can to make it an easy transition from spectacles and contact lenses to spec and contact lens free for you. We have just got to decide what is safest for your eye. So is there a difference between the two procedures? 
physically, yes, in what the laser is doing, but in terms of outcomes, absolutely not.